I'm headed out to the camper. We have it parked right here in the driveway because school is over. We have not used it since we got home from Texas and we had all these travel plans <laughs> for this year that have all pretty much got canceled. But this weekend, or this kind of this end of this week, we're just gonna take it up to Tom's sister's house. So Tom has three sisters. They all live um, in Northern Minnesota up by Duluth. And so we're just gonna go park up there and hang out with them. All right, let me get inside. So there's a lot of questions about how we pack our camper for a trip. It's it's not a huge camper, right? And then we have six people that we fit in here. But we did take it for two weeks to Texas, so I, ha I feel like I have a good grip now on how to pack it and what we need. So I'll show you that, but I also have a quick little project I want to do in here, and that's what I don't want you to tell Tom about because he would be like, you don't have time for that right now, but I'll show you what it is and, and see what you think about it. So there was a medicine cabinet above there that we took down or i took down um that it luckily it didn't protrude into the wall so i was just working on painting over that white but i've seen this idea on instagram where you sponge paint the walls just to add a little visual interest so i might have got some sponges and some paint and i might give that a try <laughs> so that's what i want you to not tell tom about because he'll just be like we don't have time for that but what i realized when we were doing like our office area in the stairs area like when i was stenciling the walls and i made that plaster artwork is that i actually really enjoy diy pro projects and it doesn't matter if they're tedious like the stenciling i actually really enjoy it and it just i don't know there's something about it just the monotony of it and figuring it out and how it's going to work that is like just feels really good for my brain and it's some time where I can take just to like process thoughts and he just got home with the kids now so um and so I really have fun with those projects and I haven't done them for a really long time I used to do them a lot more and so that's where I'm like this could just be some good mental health for me so all right they just got back so I'm gonna go for now but <laughs> I'll show you uh what it is what I want to do when I come back okay so I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram sponge painting their walls and doing like a pattern like not like in the old days when we used to sponge paint our walls right like with like a solid sponge and different colors and layer, layer them over each other um but really doing like some fun patterns and I saw this pattern on Pottery Barn but th I, these are actually like wall decals I think that you can stick on but it's such a small space in there that I was like well why don't I just make a sponge paint print of it and just sponge paint it because that will probably take less time than trying to position the decals or I don't know but it'll be way less expensive so I just got a package of sponges and I was just working on cutting my own wall sponges I guess and so I was trying to make them not look you know make them look like a little rough and then I and mean, be a little bit different so then I can make a pattern out of them so I have a gray paint too and that's my plan is I'm just going to try this out and see the the nice thing is that if it doesn't look good then I'll just paint back over it white like I don't really have much to lose it's a small space probably the only thing I have to lose right now is time because <laughs> we don't have a ton of time before we're supposed to be going on vacation but I work better under pressure and having a deadline so it's also 90 some degrees here today and we found out that the air conditioning does not work in our camper so uh if we could just give this camper back we would probably do that <laughs> after everything we've been through with it but it's okay we'll figure it out tom can figure out anything so it'll be fine it's just pretty it's pretty sweaty in here right now <laughs> so i thought maybe i should like test this out <laughs> so i have a piece of cardboard and uh yeah we'll just give it a shot see how it goes see if we can kind of figure out a pattern that we like i i honestly have no idea how this is gonna go so we'll see i don't want it to look like too spongy you know like that's to like needs to be a little darker than that I also don't want the paint to be all like I don't know globby on it all right so let's try that that's a little better the edges are kind of I don't know if I love that I think we can make this work my only thought is that I think this paint color is a little bit dark I don't think I want quite that much contrast on the walls so I think I'm going to mix it with some of the white wall color so it's just a little more muted. And then I say, let's just give it a shot. All right, I got my first row done, almost done. 
I was trying to decide if I thought the paint was too dark or if it was going to be too busy, but yeah, I think I might, I think I might mix it just a little bit lighter and then, okay, so I decided to go just a little bit lighter with the paint color. This one had some of the old color <laughs> and new color, so this is the new color. I think I like it just a little bit better, it won't be quite so busy. So I think I've got my technique, my color worked out, and I'm going to see how quickly I can get this done. But what I'm realizing for myself is I actually really like DIY projects and like house projects and even stuff like this, like sponge painting the wall that seems kind of like tedious or I don't know, time consuming. I actually really enjoy it and I feel like it gives me just kind of time to process and let my brain process stuff. Sometimes I'll, I won't listen to anything or talk to anyone and then other times I'll put my earbuds in and I'll listen to a book. I, I usually have like three or four books that I'm listening to at a time. I can link to some below that I'm really enjoying right now, but I just like, well, what am I in the mood to listen to right now? And then um, I'll, I'll decide what I wanna listen to or I'll listen to music. But a lot of the time I just don't even have any kind of input. I really, I really like people but I'm more of an introvert and I and I think especially with everyone being home so much I haven't gotten as much time to myself as maybe um, I need. I also really like going for walks and that's the same thing where sometimes I'll listen to stuff and sometimes I'll just walk. And I think in the past I kind of saw these like DIY projects like when I was stenciling the wall or um, doing this kind of stuff. I think I saw it as maybe like a waste of time or it's not it's it's not important or you know I don't know um, because it is kind of time consuming and now I'm realizing like no, I actually really enjoy it, so it's okay if I want to spend a couple hours today sponge painting our camper bathroom that no one, like, like really hardly anyone is ever going to see it, but it's just because I enjoy it and when I see it it'll make me happy, then, like, that's okay. <laughs> and so and I don't have to feel guilty about that. And one of the best things about simplifying our house is that I have the time to do that now. Like, in the past when we were in the process of simplifying our house, I mean, really any spare time I got, I felt like I should be working on that. And I'm glad I did because now we get to enjoy the benefits. But I mean, that's one of the nice things about simplifying our life and our schedule and, and everything is I, I have time to do things like this and I don't have to feel guilty about it and I can take the time to do it. So anyway, um, that was kind of my thought process because I did feel guilty at first of like, should I be in the camper doing this today? And I'm like, no, it is okay if I want to take some time to do that today. <laughs> All right, so this is where I start to question my judgment because it's starting to rain outside and it's not fun to pack a camper when it's raining. And Tom's like, maybe you should stop painting and <laughs> pack the camper. But it's not fun, as fun to pack the camper as it is to paint. <laughs> but I'm, so I'm gonna switch gears to that. But this is my hero <laughs> right now because- First off, tell them what the temperature is. It is 90 degrees outside. And humid. And humid, yucky. But yesterday it was 95 to 100 in humid. It which made it like 107 in here. <laughs> but what is the temperature in here right now? It's like sweatshirt weather. Like 65. <laughs> I don't know. I had to actually turn it off when I came in. So you fixed the air conditioning. What was wrong with it? Um so all I did to it was I took everything apart. I cleaned out the condenser and then there's filters on the unit where it blows into the inside. I took all those apart, cleaned them all out. It wasn't really that dirty is what surprised me. But it just, then it... Uh, it's like blowing like... Ice cold. Freezer, e freezer temperature out of it. It's awesome. Yeah, no, it's really cool. So, so like, yeah. <laughs> really cool. So, mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. Now it makes going camping even sound like even more fun. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. All right. I'm going to switch my attention to packing now and I'll show you how we fit everything in here because it actually fits really comfortably. I think we were both surprised when we went to Texas how we could go for two weeks and there was literally empty cabinets. Yeah. Still. No, I was going to say that we had, it, we had open spaces for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So totally yep. possible and do doable. So let's get it done. Okay, so I have, I need to get all the painting stuff out of here and then I have the bags of groceries and um, stuff that I'm gonna pack. So this is everything, ex well, pretty much everything except the stuff that'll go in the fridge. So I wanna get this all put away and then get this other stuff um, cleaned up as well. So here we go. So we have this mess to clean up from when we were working out here trying to finish the bathroom the last time. <laughs> and then back here, we just need to make beds clean it up a little bit and repack the kids clothes it works out well because there's 
one drawer for each of the kids and that was plenty of storage when we went for two weeks so we know for a long weekend they can just grab some clothes throw them in there and that will be good to go and then we just put the dirty laundry up there and that works well um, so the other thing I need to do is get curtains up back here so we were just using a uh, tissue paper with painters tape on the window Corbin added some artwork decoration to his um, but I did get curtains and rods that I want to put up too so and for the curtains for the bunk area I just grabbed this three-piece set from Walmart it was only ten dollars and then I also got just the like inexpensive tension rods and command hooks so my hope is that this will work for at least three of the windows if I if not possibly all four or I can find something else to put on the fourth and yeah we don't have to have very much money into it but I am I don't know actually how big it is so we'll see Alright, so Tom came in to see how things were going, so I'm going to get your reaction. Well, I came out to see how things are going because I feel like you're, you're enjoying being hit in the way of the camera. <laughs> what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Alright, so what's your first thought when you think of like sponge painting? Oh, uh, like a legit sponge, like when we were kids and our parents, <laughs> yeah. dude, everybody's parents did it. I think so, multiple colors. Yeah, like, yeah, yep. yeah. All right, so are you excited to see my version of sponge training? Is that what you've been doing out here? Yes, that's what I've been doing is sponge training. Okay, yes. am I walking this way? Or yes, are you going we're going to the, the bathroom where we'll show everyone how it looks. Okay. Oh. What do you think? That's not what I would think of sponge Right? Sponge not your mama's sponge painting? Not my wife's sponge painting. You also didn't love this mirror because you thought it was me too small. What do you think? I'm, you, you got the height down pretty good, so, usually, usually, and even, Well, like, look at Tom, his head's almost hitting right, the ceiling. so usually <laughs> when Dawn wants me to hang a mirror, <laughs> she would like it where I would have to be this. Right. Because, but you know what's funny, let's see if we can show this. Can we both be in the mirror? Oh, we can. Oh, it does work for me. Okay. Well, I have to be this far out to get my eyebrows. That yeah. needs a, we need like a nail to put that up. Or to clip it off. Yeah. Or how is no, it hung right now? No, I like it. It's decorative. Um, oh, so it's supposed to look like that and make it look yeah. like... Yeah. I hung it with Velcro command strips. They, it is on there, like secure. The... So you like it? Yeah, no, it's cool. Where, uh, where'd the towel things go? I moved the towel hooks oh, in here. Oh, into the shower. Because we, we don't, because we don't use the shower. Use the shower. <laughs> so our towels are hanging in there. Hooks are in there. Oh, that's nice. I didn't. I didn't even notice they were over there. All right. So you approve? Cool. I didn't think you wouldn't not like what I was doing. I just thought you would be like, "Is this really the like the most important thing right now?" No, I think I asked you that earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Sometimes you just need a mindless DIY project. So that's what I did. So, but I'm gonna finish packing and um, yeah, it'll be done and like like two minutes. Now who's hiding out in the camper? Yeah, I was actually gonna ask, do, I to, do I have to go back in the house? No, you can have, okay, so here's what I have left to do, is oh, to you're gonna give me a chore. get all this stuff into the proper places, but it actually doesn't take that I was long, say, so. that's pretty easy, I'll do that. Yeah, no, I'm not too worried, so. Okay, so, <laughs> I really was actually enjoying my time out here, right? But I did get the kids' bunk area all set, so I'll show you. I just got their beds made. We have curtain up, so that looks way better. And then, um, let's see, curtain on the lower level. They're too long, so I have to, when we get back, I will, I'll hem them. If I hem them, I mean I'll use either hem tape or liquid stitch, <laughs> but, um, and then in here, I just had them each pick out the clothes they want to bring and so we got clothes um, for everybody so that is ready to go so the kids are are pretty much set so that's awesome <laughs> and I think the sponge painting turned out really cool I specifically chose 
like this pattern in this shape because I knew it didn't have to be perfect. Like some of the patterns like herringbone or something like that where you have to like line it up really well. No, that, I, not really what I wanted to do. So I like that this pattern didn't have to be perfect. That is why I selected it, but I, I really like how it turned out. I can show you how we packed the bathroom real quick. So um, down here in this cabinet under the sink, of course our RV toilet paper. And then we just put the kids like toothbrushes, washcloth, hairbrush, uh, basically kind of like everything they need to get ready in there. And then <laughs> you can see we need to finish painting in here. Anyways, um, we just put it in there so then we can pull it out and go into a bathroom or rest stop or wherever we're at. It's easy to grab and, and use. And then if we're parked, we'll put their toothbrushes and stuff in there. And then in this basket down here, I keep just like my straightener and curling irons or anything like that. My makeup bag. I put my hair products up here when we're stationary and those are Tom's stuff. But then if we're driving, it's easy just to throw it down there in that bin as well because there's lots of extra space. And so that's kind of the bulk of our, that's really like all we bring. I mean, when I'm camping, like all I need is dry shampoo <laughs> basically. And then, and then I'm pretty set. <laughs> Okay, so I'll show you how we pack everything in here. You know, we kind of lost a lot of storage when we took out that big tall cabinet that was here, but I actually really like how the drawers function. And what's nice is that when we're outside the door, we can reach in here and grab stuff. So in this bottom drawer, I try to just keep the stuff we grab frequently. So we use baby wipes a lot, mosquito spray, paper plates, and usually there's napkins right here. Um, so that stuff is like really easy to get to. And then in the next drawer, I'll put our fruit in this basket. And then this is just kind of like snacks, marshmallows, granola bars. And then up here, we just have buns, cereal, um, containers to put extra food in. So this becomes where we store the bulk of our food. And then I can show you in this top drawer is I don't know it's like empty we have some first aid stuff scissors we'll put like our phone chargers battery chargers random stuff like that in there um and that's like it then for the dresser and then i'll show you we got this little keurig um just on amazon and it works awesome so this kind of becomes tom and i's like coffee corner and then up here we have a box of k-cups and then the coffee maker fits up here too, and then we have some of these these cups that we use. And then I just have these plastic bins up here, and I keep cereal bowls. We have like a mixing bowl, some storage containers, and then our silverware. So those are just kind of like our dishes and cutting board and that kind of stuff. I don't know. I haven't looked in this one yet. I don't remember what's in here. Okay, so we have clothespins and a clothesline which we've never used <laughs> and then napkins which are going to go down in that drawer so I don't know we have more than enough storage space I'm trying to even think what's not even packed yet like this cabinet is empty besides a fire extinguisher and we haven't really found a good spot for water so it just hangs out down there for now and then we have our little garbage can in the corner and then I can't show you because it's raining but um this bunk underneath it you can get to it from the outside there's a door you open from the outside and that's where we keep like our camp chairs we have a camp stove so we do most of our cooking outside we have an electric griddle that will hook up outside i'm trying to think marshmallow roasting sticks um all kind of like the outdoorsy stuff just goes down there tom keeps like some tools toe straps I, I don't even know what he keeps down there, but that's kind of like where all the outdoor stuff goes. So that's awesome. We also have the bed of his truck to put stuff in, but I don't even know that. I don't know if we brought like bikes, we'd put them in there, but I don't know. We haven't really had to use it much. I'll wait to pack the fridge stuff right away in the morning before we go. And then Tom and I keep our clothes and our bedding in that cubby there that he built. So that'll get put in right before we go. Otherwise, I, I don't know. I'm probably forgetting stuff. But thank you for hanging out with me while I packed and while I sponge painted <laughs> the bathroom. That was, it was really fun. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So um, worth the couple hour investment. So thank you for hanging out. I hope you're doing really well. And I look forward to visiting with you again soon.